some accommodation establishments in and around Bulukwane say that they are already full, and that's ahead of the ANC's January 8 celebrations tomorrow. Malu Ngulubo is part of our team in Limpopo. He's watching that leg of the story and joins us now live. Malu, what are you hearing and seeing? It's actually quite interesting when you drive around uh, Polokwane in many streets, I should say, uh, I under what you see are the placards that are advertising the January 8th celebrations of the ANC. And you're also hearing people saying that their accommodation establishments are actually full. We're talking here hotel guest houses and as well as BNBs. Those are mainly in the tourism sector, I under, and you would know that's the sector that has been left in its knees really by the lockdown as a result of the COVID-19. Right now we are at Elegant Guest House here in Polokwana. I want to bring in the co-owner really or the owner of this establishment, Arthur McDermott. Arthur, thank you so much for your time. I can only imagine what the people in the WhatsApp, in, in the local WhatsApp group are actually saying. Yes, uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, Malu, uh, yeah, it's it's hectic. Yeah. It uh, after quite two years, this is this is really a busy weekend. Uh, all the guest houses are packed, they are yeah. full to absolute maximum capacity. Houses, B and Bs, uh, Airbnbs, yeah. uh, even people got flats in yards are, are rented out, and uh, people are still finding. Uh, continuously during the day so it's completely packed yeah so you haven't been in this situation in, in this situation before considering that you know the past two years have actually been um been so difficult for you this is the much needed revenue i suppose yeah it, it, we, we needed this the last two years were hectic um we were really down and out you know tourism took a beating yeah. And the city needs this, you know, the community needs it, uh, the restaurants need it. It's, it's, it's more than just accommodation. It's, it's about restaurants, people eating out and so on. It's about work. People earn their, their money from, from, from restaurants, yeah. the, the, you know, the waiters and so on, and the, the chefs. And the, yeah, it's, it's good for the city. It's fantastic. What do, you think, what do you think this event means for everyone? here in Limpopo. Remember we're living, it, this province has got about what, 5.9 million people and we already know that about 49 percent of the population here is unemployed. Yeah, I, I think uh, it means that people got to step up. Uh, this is an opportunity that people had to, to grab and uh, take note that they have to improve. They have, there's a shortage. So obviously there have been many other events and we had similar situations but not as hectic as this one. Uh, there's huge demand. So it means that people will realize they have to get their act together, you know, expand whatever they're doing in, in tourism. Will you be watching the, 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 the president of the ANC giving that statement tomorrow? But remember, he's the president of the ANC, but also he's the president of the country. What is it that you, you're hoping really to, to hear from him as a South African? Because all of us as South Africans will be watching. It, it matters. Uh, whatever the president says will, will, at the end of the day, uh, boil down to, to policy. And we, we hope, and, and that's our association, we have to make it work. Mm. And we hope that the, the things they're going to talk about and the decisions they're going to make and the policies they're going to make will actually uh, boil down to, 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 to practical implementation yeah. of, of whatever they say. Yeah. We, we need this. We really need this. Uh, we've got to get this right. And I hope we're going to watch him and we're going to take him accountable for that. Mm. We're going to make him accountable because yeah. we need this. We need to get this country right. But do you think people care, really? But do you think people care that this event is taking place here in, in, in Polokwane, in Limpopo, one of the poorest provinces? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, look what happened with the previous conference yeah. uh, in the previous era. It matters. It, it, it was devastating what happened with, with state capture. So this makes sense that whatever is going to take place is going to... It's going to expire. So we, we are going to. Are we going forward or are we going to move backwards? It, make, it matters. All right. So thank you so much for your time. Arthur McDermott, he's the owner of the Elegant Guest House, saying that whatever the ANC president will be saying on Saturday, it will matter to South Africans.
Thank you. Absolutely. Malungelo Boy live to us there from Pulukwane. Malu, thanks very much indeed for watching that leg of the big story.